Pivot is the word of the year for so many small business owners, and that's exactly what one Lorain County fashion designer has been doing since March. News 5's Jay Jarvis explains how he's keeping his doors open and helping his community stay safe. Though his designs are quite glamorous. I started in 2007, self-taught here in Lorraine. Javon Terrence has never forgotten his humble beginnings. Started sewing my pieces in my mom and dad's basement on the pool table. Eight years ago, he started a pop-up shop for his self-titled fashion line, which turned into a permanent boutique space on Broadway in downtown Lorraine. It's a crazy transition to look back on that. Since then, he's been busy with sewing, doing photo shoots, and traveling back and forth to New York City for Fashion Week. But that all changed earlier this year when his clothing sales came to a screeching halt during the pandemic. I had to make a decision, keep making clothes or do something that's needed in the community. So he started making masks, selling them to stay afloat, but also donating $6,000 worth to agencies and people in need. And they all have a little Lorraine flair with school mascots and logos and local landmarks like the Lorraine Lighthouse. People love that because they have a piece of Lorraine and a piece of Javon Terrence as well. Terrence says clothing sales picked back up in June, though they're not what they once were just yet. A big time in um, the year for us is prom and now is that exact time in wedding season. So. You scratch all those pieces and that's a lot of money that you're losing. But he's still holding on with his masks, online shop, virtual fashion shows, and a lot of positivity. When you have a small business, you know, money is like a roller coaster. So as long as you stay positive and keep people that around you that are positive, I think it's, it's a good time to get through um, and be, you know, You'll be good in the end. Terrence is always adding new designs to his mask inventory, like these cute Christmas prints right here. And he donates a portion of the proceeds of certain masks to local schools and organizations. So if you buy one, you're not only supporting his business, you're also supporting the community. In Lorraine, Jay Jarvis, News 5.